Okay, we're going to come back to the minor pentatonic scales now, and I'm going to be showing you five positions up the neck, how to play these movable minor pentatonic fingerings for E minor pentatonic. We'll be adding the open E minor pentatonic to that too, so that actually makes six positions altogether. I'm going to start with the open E minor pentatonic. We already touched on that earlier. Here it is again. And if you want to read along with the exercise, it's the open position E minor pentatonic. Play it twice because there's a repeat in the music. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to move these scales up the neck and be playing them in different positions. Let me start by uh, giving you a quick definition of position. Um, earlier, we played open position or first position. That's where all the four fingers are down as low on the neck as it can be. Now I'm going to move up to the various places on the neck. And if you put all your four fingers together and uh, with no finger stretches, the fret that your first finger is in is actually what position you're in. So right now, uh, I've got frets two, three, four, five, and I, that means I'm in second position. If I was to move this up to right here at the fifth fret, uh, frets five through eight, I would actually be in fifth position, okay? So that's a little definition of the term position. So I'm coming back second position, and I'm going to play the E minor pentatonic from the lowest root that I've got in this scale, is this E right here. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to go to the high note, the note A. I'm going to come all the way down to the note G, which is the low note, and then I'm going to return to the root, okay? Uh, root, high note, low note, root. Good way to play all these scales. Okay, here it is. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, I'll be moving up to the fourth position, E minor pentatonic. And this has the fourth finger on the note E as the root. There's actually a couple variations on this I want to point out. Um, the first variation, it's written in the music this way too, has me playing uh, the note G with the first finger. I'm actually going to play the variation. I prefer this one, and a lot of blues players do when they're playing. It would be to come up here and come up with it to the note G by moving up, actually one fret, into the fifth position for those two strings. And that's how I'm going to be demonstrating this scale and playing it, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Four. Next position up the neck is the seventh position E minor pentatonic, and it's um, you know, if the first position for blues, or the 12th, are the world's two most popular fingerings, basically the world's most popular finger for the pentatonic, this, this seventh position would probably be the second most popular. Uh, the reason for it is probably is because there's a, a big old E minor 7 chord right underneath your fingers here and here when you're in the open or here when you're in the 12th. So the, the reason the world tends to gravitate toward those fingerings are, are uh, more than likely because there's the chord underneath it. And uh, as well, um, the arpeggios to this chord. So there's a lot of reasons why it works really well here. So I want you to really, if this is a new fingering, really check it out, spend some time with it. You'll be glad you did. It's a great place to play uh, solo around the blues, okay? So again, we're gonna be going from the root to the high note to the low note, returning to the root. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. OK, 
Okay, next I'm going to be talking about the ninth position, um, E minor pentatonic scale. And that has the fourth finger on the E string as the root. Now I'm going to play that very slowly. You'll notice that the top end of this scale that I just played, those notes are really great for connecting into that world's favorite place to play in the blues. So that's one of the ways that you transition this scale to the next higher position, is to take the top end of that scale and get it moves really nicely, slides on up. So I want to ex uh, encourage you to experiment. Try shifting around on the neck with these scales. Move from one to the other. We're going to be looking at ways to do it, but I'd like you to experiment with it too. Um, many of the greatest players in blues and rock and other styles have come up with their own sound and their own voice by the way they found of connecting those scales. So, okay, we're going to take it from E now. One, two, three, four. Last but not least is that great spot up in the 12th fret that uh, many blues players spend about half their life right here. Okay, 12th position E minor pentatonic. I'll be going from the root to the top note, which is the note G, all the way back down to the root, and that'll be the last note. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> 